What's up guys, it's Samuel here and welcome back to another video. Uh, now today I'm going to react to The Earth Alone, part 1. Now the reason why I wanted to do this is because there is some interesting stuff going on in the second part. And I want to share this with you all. So let's get right into it. Great. Now my two closest friends have decided they hate me. This is so unfair. When have I ever... Oh, and my moon! That too! He better apologize when he comes back. It's not like the Earthlings need him or anything. I hope they hold on. Which put a tragic end to this year's summer football season. In other news, after preliminary reports in the form of what people are seeing with their eyes, scientists have finally confirmed that the moon is gone. It literally disappeared. While there is no official explanation as to what has happened yet, strange weather events and tidal changes have been occurring all over the globe. Doomsday preachers from all over the world are asking the question, Is this one actually it? Get back inside. Whatever's going on, it can't be good. I really hope your daddy's alright, and that the people in charge have a plan. Everybody relax. We can't be at each other's throats if we want to. Even for you? That is low, China. Stealing the moon? What is this? A Bond movie? If you really think we could steal the moon without you noticing, your surveillance technology must be even worse than we thought. But of course, you're only blaming us because you stole the moon. What would we need the moon for? What would we need the moon for? Enough already! This is not our first rodeo, now is it? The moon has mysteriously disappeared before, and we always got it back. Thankfully, we have a man in space for that. He handled it last time, he can do it again. Are you certain that your man in space can solve this problem before it turns into a catastrophe? I would bet $30 on it. Hey, quick update. The Solar Ball story is back, now with a new stock of plushies. Right now, we have Earth, Venus, and Nude plushies. However, there's a limited stock available, so be sure to pre-order them now before they run out. Wait, there's a plushie of me? That's kind of weird. You're kind of weird! Why is there no plushie of you? Because I just incinerate your Earthlings, partner! Ugh. Anyways, check out the store before these plushies run out. Or check out our other merch, like t-shirts, hoodies, puzzles, you name it. Anyways, back to the video. Hey, so... Have you spoken to the Earth lately? No. You? Nuh uh. I guess you stopped being friends then. Yeah. He just wanted to be friends for validation or whatever. You were right. I'm sorry, man. Ugh. I wish the Earth would just reflect for once. You know, I don't like being on these terms with him, but I can't just forgive him over and over and. Hey, no matter what the Earthling said centuries ago, the universe doesn't revolve around them, okay? This is for the best. The Earth will be okay. Uh, you're right. Maybe I'm getting a little too worried. Things are looking dire. While we wait for the Mission General of Rotsar to give us the moon back somehow, weather conditions have worsened much faster than scientists originally predicted. What began as the tides growing weaker quickly led to a complete upheaval of the seasons and the day-night cycle, with some parts of the world fully losing access to sunlight, while others don't experience nightfall anymore. Astro Dude! Why won't you respond? I wish I could fire him. Right into the sun! <sighs> I hope whatever he's doing is important. He might not have an Earth to come back to. Without the moon to balance our planet's axis, the Earth is becoming increasingly unstable. I mean, it was one argument, right? Titan needed validation, not me. He was like, oh, I'm just like you, Earth. What does a moon like him know about what being Earth is like, huh? What having warring humans that might just fall over dead if anything goes wrong feels like. That's all I told him, and now they're all acting like I'm crazy or something. Exactly, Earth. You did nothing wrong. Titan was just jealous. I don't know why I reacted that strongly either. And I just started accusing you of stuff out of nowhere. You know how hot-headed I can get. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, don't cut yourself short. 
Yes, I was kind of playing you up against each other, but I had my reasons. Exactly, and that's all that matters. A good friend would forgive absolutely everything you do to him, no matter how insecure and cruel. I... insecure and cruel? Well, I wouldn't say... Of course you were! We tried being honest with you and you doubled down on your flaws until we couldn't take it anymore. But that's just what best friends do, right? Okay, this is getting weird. But you can't be okay with this, right? Well, why wouldn't we be, pal? Cause... Cause you're my friends. Cause you tell me when I screw up. You don't let me get away with everything. Cause you're... Honest? Who needs honesty? You just want everyone to come back to you and tell you that it's all good, right? What? No, I... Cause that's how it usually goes, isn't it? Your Earthlings are so important, everybody has to respect that, right? It doesn't even matter that you treat everyone around you like garbage. They should be sorry. They should apologize to you. Hey, stop it. Well, I didn't treat anyone like garbage. Sure, I made mistakes, but... Well, what about me? The one who keeps catching asteroids for you? Who keeps your axis in check for your Earthlings? That isn't... I deal with your fits. I deal with your Earthlings on my surface. I help you when you get in trouble. I always come back, and you... Stop it! You know that I appreciate you for... Being just a moon? That's what you said, Earth. That we can't be anything else. Well, you know what? I had enough of you, and I'm never coming back! So, welcome back. Well, did your man bring back the moon? I think I remember you making certain promises. Uh, not yet, but we have been exploring alternative solutions. Alternatives to what? To having a moon? Uh, yes, actually. See, our scientists crunched the numbers, and turns out we're not dying out. What is this capitalist trying to say? I'm saying that we can survive without a moon for a while. True, humanity needed the moon to develop and stabilize the Earth. But the changes to the axis are pretty small right now and will be for centuries at least. If we all start working together and providing relief efforts all over the world, we can get people prepared for their new climates and the way they will change. We can build new environments to live in if we invest money into the new way of living. We could- So you're saying that because you failed, the Earth will become much worse to live on and now you want us all to pull resources? <laughs> Until what? The axis shift gets so bad that we'll just die out? We could also try to go to Mars. Okay, I'm done funding your company. You're gonna lose so much more than 30 bucks now. You can say that again, bruh. Hello? Mission General of Ratsar here. What the? The moon is back? Oh, according... To blab? Uh, who? Uh, who's... Wait. Hey, Earth. Moon? You... You're back? Yes. I... I think we need to talk. Hi. We hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to check out our Solar Ball store and pre-order the new plushies before they run out. Okay, bye! Well, that was part we one. We found a top agent. Uh, that was part one. Uh, I'll react to part two in a different video later on. See y'all later.